it is not often that I have an excuse to talk about anime on this channel, so I'm going to take every single chance I get. So Crunchyroll is one of the major officially licensed anime streaming sites. I say one of, but all of the big sites are basically buying each other, so there's really only like three or four distinct options that actually exist at this point. And recently Crunchyroll made a really interesting management decision, banning signups with the privacy-oriented email provider Tutanota. Now, it's unclear to me if this affects any of the existing accounts signed up with one of those emails. I haven't seen anybody report as such, but if someone knows about it, please do let me know. So in case you don't know, Tutanota is a German-based email provider whose name when literally translated means secure note. It is one of the major privacy email providers alongside things like ProtonMail. Now typically email is really easy to snoop on. It's not private at all, and if you want to send anything actually important, it shouldn't be over email. But both of these services offer end-to-end -end encryption. Other mainstream services are slowly hopping on board with this, but they're still the most trusted names in this sector. Now, I don't personally have a dog in this fight. From what I can see, they both seem like they are relatively good services. If you're not someone like, say, you know, Edward Snowden, or maybe you're running like a giant drug ring, it seems like they're going to do pretty much everything the normal sort of person is going to want to do if they want to have privacy on the internet. But I know that just by comparing these two, there is going to be a bunch of privacy advocates that come out and have a giant fight in the comment section about which service is better. So enjoy that. For all of the people who don't really care as much, I'll leave a comparison in the description down below. Now this is absolutely not the first time that Tutanota has been banned from a platform. Most notably, a couple of years back, I want to say at least six or so years back, they were banned from DeviantArt and then unbanned, and then banned again, and then unbanned, and I'm pretty sure right now they are still banned. But much more recently than this, they were also banned from Microsoft Teams. This was written about over on the Tutanota blog, and honestly, I have no idea why signups with Tutanota are being banned. Surely the issue isn't spam or bot accounts or anything like that, because last time I checked, it's pretty easy to go and spin up an account on something like Gmail, for example, or Yahoo, or is Hotmail still a thing? I presume it's still a thing. It's very easy to go and spin up a bunch of email accounts on any of these free services and just send them out to the world and be really annoying. But it's not just Tutanota. Proton Mail, many times in the past, has received a fairly similar treatment. At one point, also being banned by Crunchyroll, and then shortly after being unbanned. But at least from what I can see, it seems like Proton Mail, at least nowadays, gets banned a lot less often. My guess for that is there's probably a lot more people on Proton Mail, so there's a lot more people using it in a legitimate fashion, not trying to, like, you know, make fake accounts and things like that. On that note, Crunchyroll did respond to Tutanota asking why their domain got banned, and their reason is, I think the best way to put it, is absolutely hilarious. Hi, the ban of your domain is because we encountered a lot of hackers that use your domain's emails to hack our accounts. Thank you for understanding, have an amazing weekend. Stand together, overcoming together, whoever this is, the customer service agent. Hackers. Hackers. <laughs> what do you mean by hackers? What are they doing? Are they trying to, like, fish Crunchyroll accounts? Are they trying to impersonate staff? Are they spamming the forums with, like, NFT and crypto links? Are they exploiting the free trial, which free trials are fundamentally broken? What exactly are they doing that is hacking? Are they, like, breaking into your database or something? I genuinely don't understand what that reason means. What's even better is the response that Crunchyroll gave when contacting one of the Tutanota users. When contacting one of the Tutanota users impacted by this issue, they sent us a recommendation from Crunchyroll team asking them to create an email with a big tech company to sign up for their service. Now, I can't read most of this email, but they're suggesting things like gmail.com. Hotmail.com, 
Outlook.com, and Yahoo.com. And while I don't use one of these privacy email services myself, Tutanota has it exactly right here. You should not need to disregard your own personal privacy to access an online streaming service. The desire for online privacy does not make you a criminal. But as we all know, there is never a situation when someone trying to hack an account, trying to fish accounts, things like that, would ever use a Gmail domain or would ever use a Hotmail or Outlook domain. That has never happened in the history of ever. And it will never happen because, I don't know, Crunchyrolls know what it was doing. These domains are used by hackers. Tutanota is used by hackers. ProtonMail is used by hackers. Every domain out there is used in some form by people trying to do malicious things. In before we ban Linux because hackers use that, how about we just ban computers full stop because hackers use those as well. But if we're being completely honest, literally all this is, is Crunchyroll does not want to hire moderators. This is a problem that could very easily be dealt with on an individual basis. You check the accounts, you see how the accounts are going, if the accounts are being used in a malicious way, then you go and ban them. But that takes effort. So instead of doing that, you ban a domain and that's going to somehow solve your problem. But anyone who is using Tutano to do anything potentially malicious with Crunchyroll is now just going to go somewhere else. It's not going to stop them. It just moves them elsewhere. And while Crunchyroll might suggest this solution, there is a much much better solution available, one where you can keep using the exact same email address. And it does require a couple of extra steps to do, but many people out there consider this just be important full stop and will be doing this even if their email wasn't being banned. Setting up what is known as a disposable email, an email alias, a forwarding email, or any other thing you want to call it. What you do is you set up this email address that hides your actual email behind a different address. So to the receiver, anything sent by you looks like it's being sent by that middleman address. And then anything they send you, they will send to the middleman and they'll have no idea it's not an actual email. And that middleman will send it to your actual email. Think of it like a VPN, but for your email. Instead of hiding your IP address, it hides your true email address. There are tons of different options out there, and I don't have enough experience with any of them to make a proper recommendation. But when you do research about this subject, you'll keep hearing about something known as simplelogin.io. This seems to be the main one that a lot of people are using, and there is a free tier for it, so if you want to go and use that, that is available, or you can go and pay for it yearly. It's only $30 a year, and you can basically make as many aliases as you want to. On the free tier, you can only make 10 separate aliases. And I know someone is going to ask, no, I'm not being paid by them. I just happen to know about their service and doing research on this subject, they are always the first one that shows up on the list. Crunchyroll has not since commented on the situation and I really doubt they are going to because I really doubt that Tutanota is a massive domain for signups on their service. Maybe they have like 0.1 or 0.001% of signups from that domain. So losing those isn't a big deal. And because the signups are so small, no one's really going to care about it outside of the privacy advocates. It's pretty crazy how far Crunchyroll has come. For a site whose origins were literally an anime piracy site that was selling fan subs, it's absolutely hilarious how far they have diverged from that. And if Crunchyroll wants people to start pirating anime more, they're giving people another reason. A lot of people don't like their service in the first place. This is just another reason not to like them. And for legal reasons, I have to say don't pirate anime, but I can't control what you do. So let me know. Do you make use of Tutanota or ProtonMail? And have you had any experience with random services you're trying to use banning the domain? And if they do ban the domain, do you make use of an email alias? Or maybe you just go and make another email somewhere else, and that's just for all of the things that don't work with the privacy email. Let me know down below. And if you like this video, remember to go like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to the Pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robson Plays. That's going to be it for me and... I'm out.